Well, it's been 18 days since we've seen measurable rainfall here in the Charlotte area. WCNC Charlotte meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees shares what the drought monitor just released today says about the impacts. Drought conditions are expanding for Charlotte and surrounding counties. The latest drought monitor show today. Most of our 22 local counties under at least abnormally dry conditions. That's yellow shading with the exception of Ashwatauga and Avery. Now this can sometimes cause leaves to brown out and drop leaves a little bit early. It's a protective mechanism built into the trees as they're trying to conserve water and recover from drought stress. Now compared nationally, our drought conditions are really not that severe, but they could worsen as we get deeper into the dry season. Biggest change I noticed over the past 30 days in the Carolinas was actually a precipitation deficit of about three to five inches. That's in the southern Appalachian Mountains, so not in our local area. Now in the Carolinas, sometimes crops like corn and peanuts can see minor impacts to production. But an even bigger question for many of you may be, can these drought conditions result in water restrictions? The answer, most likely not. When there's yellow on the map, the North Carolina Drought Management Advisory Council actually suggests irrigation systems to be restricted to odd and even addresses on different days, but as of now, there are no restrictions in place. Limits to handheld gardening, water washing or filling or topping off of pools can expand if we reach a severe drought. But again, the DMAC urges no spray irrigation, no car washing, no filling up only for the two harshest drought levels, extreme and exceptional. Those conditions have not been reached in the Charlotte area since September of 2008. You may recall water restrictions were issued in 2008 and again in 2015, but as of now, none are in place. Was well, our Brittany Van Voorhees reporting once again? I know, Brad, it, it does seem like it could be a little while longer, too, before we're getting some rain. Yeah, there's like no significant widespread rain in the forecast for another seven days at Yikes. least. So you're talking almost a full month of no rain. 